After almost a year since Typhoon Odette devastated parts of the Visayas and Mindanao, there are still a number of schools which cannot be fully utilized because of the damage the buildings sustain. Cebu-based journalist Dale Israel visited one public school and filed this report. English teacher May Suribas wakes up before 4 in the morning to make it in time for a 6 a.m. class at the Apas National High School in Cebu City. Classes here start early because of the shifting method or the sharing of limited classrooms due to the high volume of students attending face-to-face -face classes. Apas National High School is among the many schools with still unrepaired classrooms almost a year after Typhoon Odette devastated the region on December 16, 2021. We had to be very, very early, so especially for us teachers, and we find it um, very difficult. We arrive at school, it's very early, most of our students are sleepy, and usually when we have our first period, we have to wake our students, and most of us didn't have our breakfast yet, so we really need the energy to go on with the first period. The lack of classrooms also resulted in crowding 50 to 60 students in one room when the ideal class is only 40. So it is really difficult for us to handle classes because we have different kinds of students in one classroom. And mostly, uh, most of the time, some of the students are not really into listening. Yes, it's not conducive to learning the classroom or the fusing of class. Classes are also disrupted by bad weather due to leaks and even gets canceled during heavy downpour. Um, the roof is not still, uh, it's still not repaired. So my students keep on um, adjusting their seats. Students say learning gets difficult when there are too many students in one class. We are having a hard time to focus on our studies. Like once we're focused, some other classmates are very noisy. Then if it's very crowded, we're going to be having a hard time to focus. School principal Eugeniana Rabo says they have already requested funds for the repairs. Wala pa kami ano nga nag-allocate sila ng budget. We have is uh, we're just asking from the local school, bo school board and we also ask from the division office, mm -hmm. from the national, we reported it already. Hoping uh, mayroon silang budget na ibibigay para naman matapos na ito, makapag full swing na talaga, maganda na talaga yung classroom namin kasi excited rin yung mga bata. She says half of their 50 classrooms are still unusable due to damage caused by the typhoon. Parang gusto ko nang manawagan sa ating mga kababayan or sa sa mga may mga kind heart so that they can donate or they can help us to make it to make the re repair faster. Data from the Department of Education Central Visayas show there are 1,500 unusable classrooms left behind by Typhoon Odette, while 3,500 others sustained minor damage. They are still waiting for the funds to arrive from the central office. As to when, nobody knows. Dale Israel, CNN Philippines, Cebu City. Students and teachers.